From LA Late News Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Mornings LA Late. It's a big morning of Mornings LA Late with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2022. In this recording, alive and direct from Santa Monica, California, this big, bold, beautiful day, we go over the CR for stimulus 1.0 that now has 1.5 trillion dollars of discretionary spending in there for you boy this is more than enough for a stimulus check we go over the latest on cr for stimulus 2 and 3.0 that have been merging in the senate and that will give you the big opportunity of bipartisan support cr for stimulus 4.0 the russian sanctions bill whether or not vladimir putin does or doesn't invade ukraine this is heating up then we'll be turning to the exciting news of the president's opportunity to get that recon done. His spokesperson says the Build Back Better Act will pass and that those checks will go out, which would include automatic adult stimulus checks. The biggest checks you've ever seen in the history of this channel. And it's not just for seniors, because guess what? There is also checks for children in there, just not called the same thing. We have the latest details on that. Plus, we'll be turning to the exciting details of what is going on with the big SS300 and potentially SS400. Yeah, you heard me right. A campaign promise from Joe Biden of $200 a month on top of your existing benefits of SSI and SSDI. But the guy from Santa Monica, California, myself, is going to show you how Joe Biden can give you SS300 by the end of the year. I have the latest details on that. Plus, we'll be going over the opportunity to repurpose some big sums of money. And then we'll be going into the big exciting news as more viewers got tens of thousands of dollars this week from third stimulus. I'm going to show you how to get tens of thousands of dollars at the end of this video. So stay to the very end. We got a big recording today because the toast is toast and the butter is buttering. The coffee is brewing. The butter is buttering. The paid leave is not leaving. Uh, the lobster shorts are still lobstering and the birthdays are still birthday in those incredible details and more starting right now, right here as Mornings Ally gets underway. Hey, good morning, everybody. What a big, bold, beautiful day we have. And we have a big recording across the board. Frame Wars, I miss Frame Wars, do you? Uh, but Frame Wars will heat up in the Build Back Better Act. The great news is that the Build Back Better Act will pass and will include adult automatic checks for millions of Americans. So says the senators and the president who says he wants these checks to go out. I have the latest details in today's recording direct from Santa Monica. The Senate changes will be robust, not just with that, but also with CR for stimulus 2 and 3.0 that will merge in the Senate. So says a bipartisan cluster of senators. Then we'll be going over the big money available under Third stimulus and fourth stimulus still paying out. Viewers getting upwards of $45,000 and now getting another twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 this week. Whoa, stay the very end. I have a lot of money for you across the board. And then you heard me right early in this video, SS300. Would you like an additional $300 a month on top of the existing benefits by the end of this year? And what about the year after that, SS400? Oh boy, we're hitting up. I have all the incredible details across this video. It's a brand new live broadcast with breaking news across the land. I'm excited you're here, but first I need your assistance. This is the number three most watched financial news channel in America. I need you to go into this video right now and subscribe. Bring us to number two in America across print, broadcast, cable, and internet. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. Get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system and the LA Light alert system, which is totally free, a link to which is under the video's description. And with that, we go over all the incredible details of the big clusters of checks, several different pieces of legislation covering this recording. We're going to go over first the Build Back Better, then CR for Stimulus, then the SS300, but let's first start with Build Back Better, the four stimulus recon. Three clusters of checks, 
three add-ons, including the MSC. Let's go over each of them one at a time so you understand what they are. There's a lot of checks in here, folks, and those checks amount to a lot of money for you, at least $15,000, but upwards of $60,000. Let's look at that first cluster checks right now. Hazard pay for my essential workers, earn income tax credit. Third stimulus, doing it again under Fourth stimulus, learn about it at irs.gov. $4,000 of elder care, got it in there. $4,000 of care for young children, got it in there. The Pell Grant, $550 check for college students. The $12,500 for the purchase of a new electric vehicle. And then the home repairs, if you live in a low-income community, the CTC, that's the children's checks. They don't get the adults' checks. They get their checks. That's a CTC, $3,600. One more year of that. Pass in third stimulus, extending under fourth stimulus. Now, there is three classes of checks in this uh, credible recon and three add-ons. And those three add-ons start with the incredible money from Maxine Waters. She got it in there. About $25,000 for the purchase of your first home. Wow, this is huge. This is money that would be given from the federal government to the seller in your name at the time of escrow. And this is huge. This means when you're about to close escrow, the federal government will give that money to the seller in your name. Wow. That is the first of three add-ons of checks. Now let's turn to the second cluster of checks, and this is where it gets very exciting. In that second cluster of checks, we have in there the home repairs and the paid leave. The home repairs and the paid leave, well, those home repairs is to sustain natural disaster, which is every time that Mitch McConnell walks in wearing the lobster shorts. <laughs> the horrible natural disaster. <laughs> and the paid leave is every time you have to take off for work because of sickness or illness or because you saw someone show up to the center floor wearing lobster shorts. <laughs> there you go. How much is paid leave? It's a lot, folks. It is $1,700 a week if you make $70,000 or more per year. If you make $35,000 or more per year, it is $800 a week. $15,000 on an annual salary, $400 a week. How many weeks? Four to six weeks per year. So yeah, there's a lot of money, $46,000 to $6,000 a year. W-2, 1099, you all qualify for these incredible sums of money. The great news is that if you don't work it, but your son or daughter does work, they're going to get the check for the household if they're part of the household, if they have to take off from work to take you to the doctor's office. Very easy across the board. And that is paid leave. The toast is toast and the butter is butter in it, but the pay leave ain't leaving <laughs> the fourth stimulus rate on. And that is the second of three classes of checks. Now let's go to the second add-on. It comes from the incredible Bob Casey, $250 million of free money. No, this is for home health care. Free home health care for seniors and people on disabilities. A campaign promise from Joe Biden got it in there from Bob Casey. Now let's turn to the third cluster of checks where we find a true deliciousness. <laughs> free internet for all. Free school meals for all. Checks for the farmers. Checks for the independent contractors. And then the seniors. Two rounds of checks on the House. Three from the Senate. On the House side, they got the Medicaid gap fix and the hearing checks. On the Senate, they have dental vision and lowering the eligibility age of Medicare from about 65 down to 55. Wow. And that is what we're talking about when we're talking about senators because they have a lot of checks to add to this incredible recon, including the third add-on of checks. If you know what it is, jump in the live chat right and now and write those three letters. I see someone writing it. Yeah, there you go. It's MSC. Monthly. IRS stimulus check. This is an automatic adult check that is one of many checks as incredible recon that Joe Biden via Andrew Bates, his spokesperson, says he wants to go out. He doesn't want to wait around any longer. So let's go over what MSC is, who gets it, how do you get it, and how much is it? MSC is one of many provisions of checks that would be added to the recon. So says the senators, where the checks would go out from IRS. It's in addition to the $60,000 or plus checks that are already in the four stimulus recon. These are IRS paid out checks. So who would get them? Eligibility would be the same as a third stimulus check, says senators to the viewership of this channel. Single individual, $75,000 less annual income, you get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, you get it double. 
family of four. You get it, quadruple it. There they are, the family of four. <laughs> and if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security or Rail benefits, you get it as well. Adult dependents would also get it. It ain't income. It is not taxable. It's offered on a nationwide basis. So if you don't like your governor, don't worry. He ain't sending you the check. And it goes off the most recent tax return. So that most recent tax return had a direct deposit account on it. That's how you get paid otherwise in the mail. Which then brings us to the question of, well, how much is it, folks? The legislators represent to the viewership of this channel. It is $2,000 a month to start. $1,000 thereafter for up to six months. Adult automatic stimulus checks, one of the many checks of this recon of the Build Back Better Act that Joe Biden wants to go out ASAP via his spokesperson, Andrew Bates or Yates or whichever motel he owns. I forgot which one it is. Just do not show up in the lobby wearing lobster shorts. <laughs> and there we go. So how do they get this MSC into this body of legislation called the Build Back Better Act or the Force Most Recon? Let's go over the details of that starting right now. That would be in the Senate subcommittee. And the Senate subcommittee is where they modify the legislation. They say, send it on over. Sent for the House, down to the Senate. And the senators will modify the legislation in the Senate subcommittee. Put in there what they want to add in there. And they want to add a lot of other stuff as well. Have a Senate bill finished. Call for a vote on the Senate floor. Pass it. Then call it for a Senate voterama. Two days, done. But it hasn't happened. And it's been 11 months. And so... Four Saturdays ago, or four weeks ago today, I made the recording. I said, you know what? Do you want to bring back CR for stimulus? And viewers said, oh, what a great idea. And we did. And now we have birthed CR for stimulus 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, and 4.0, which are going to go over in just a second in this recording. Opportunities of different pieces of legislation that would supplement not replace, but supplement the Build Back Better Act for Simmons Recon and give you a check sooner via bipartisan quick return across the board. But first, if you knew this channel and have never heard what CR for Stimulus is, let's take a step back to 2020 to take a look and see what it was. In 2020, a first stimulus package had passed. Millions of Americans got it, but need more money. You had gone through it. And so we had heard about a second stimulus package in the works. The negotiators at the time were the Democrats, Nancy Pelosi, Speaker of the House, on behalf of the Democrats, and Steve Mnuchin, on behalf of the Republicans, Treasury Secretary at the time, negotiating on behalf of the Republicans. The negotiations started in the spring of 2020. No deal. Then, summer, no deal. Fall, no deal. Winter, no deal. And then December, still no deal. As I sat on and I looked at the situation, I said, you know what? We see a reoccurring theme here. No deal. And we need to have something else. And that is where I came up with the idea. I said, you know what? We need something else. And this is what I was looking for. I did not like this package, 3,000 pages of length, so I wanted a bill, several hundreds of pages of length, something small. I didn't like this I didn't like this partisanship, so I went something bipartisan. And finally, I went something that had inherent deadlines. So I looked high and low, and I finally found it, a continuing resolution. It has a lot of different names, like CR, but it's to describe a bill that's done every approximately three, six months to fund the federal government. The reason I liked it has an inherent deadline. They don't roll it over several months. They may roll it over a few days, a few weeks, maybe a month, but not several months. And it goes with bipartisan support. So I prepared the first recording and I prepared how to respond to potential criticisms of, of what I was about to say. And with that, I made the first appearance on camera and I said, hey, everybody, it's Ally Light. And it's December 2020. And we've been sitting back for 11 months. And we've not seen this second stimulus package get done so I have an idea. It's called a CR for stimulus. Do you like it? This is what's at hand. We have a December 2020 deadline to get this into a continuing resolution. That continuing resolution will become law. And if we get a check in there, it goes out. Do you like it? Viewers loved it. And so with that, we advocated. If you remember what the campaign was, and you're in the live chat right now, write it. It was CR for stimulus. CR for stimulus. Write the hashtag campaign in the live chat right now. 
Quickly, the criticism came on in, and the criticism is exactly what I anticipated. L.A. doesn't belong in there. Doesn't belong in there. <laughs> I knew it didn't belong in there. And that's what I said. It doesn't belong in there. I know that. But since the start of time, Congress has passed legislation where they have checks in there that don't belong. They had a covert relief bill to fund foreign military governments. They had a covert relief bill to build a brand new FBI building. And they had a covert relief bill to give money to expand the Department of Copyrights. Doesn't mean they can't put it in there. We can put it in there. So we pushed. And quickly we woke up one morning and then suddenly we saw stimulus was in the continuing resolution. And that stimulus was in the continuing resolution, but it wasn't uh, our stimulus check. It was unemployment stimulus. And with that, we pushed again. We said we need a stimulus check, and so we pushed again. And finally, we got that stimulus check in there. That became the $600 check that went out to millions of Americans. I made history, you made history, and millions of Americans got a $600 stimulus check. And guess what also happened? Second stimulus never became law, never had a bill, never paid anyone, and that's what happened across the board. Never anyone got pennies from the second stimulus package. Well, what's the update today? The update today is that CR for stimulus 1.0 has a huge major update. The negotiations between House and Democratic senators and House members has revealed that $1.5 trillion of discretionary funds have been included in the continuing resolution that has an inherent deadline now of early March. $1.5 trillion of discretionary funds? Folks, this is huge. This is huge. It's more than enough for a stimulus check. And guess who has discretion over the funds? Janet Yellen. I have the latest details of that coming up at the commercial break. CR for stimulus 2.0 and 3.0, the second and third alternatives, now merging in the how in the Senate. Why? Because of bipartisan support to get millions of Americans relief. I have the latest details on that. Then we'll be looking at the Russian situation with Ukraine. This is CR for stimulus 3.0 and 4.0. The opportunity to get a check into that heating up in the second half of this video. And while you've heard about SS-200, have you heard about SS-300 or SS-400? You have, maybe have, have not, maybe have not, until today. I'm going to go over how Joe Biden, via this channel, can send out money to raise your benefits up $300 to $400 a month additional over the next 12 months. Those incredible details and more coming up at the commercial break. we got a big, bold, beautiful morning's highlight. We're far from over. And then stay to the very end because I'll show you how to get thousands of dollars across third stimulus. Stay with me as morning's highlight continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now as Mornings LA heats up and continues its second half. The Build Back Better Act passed in the House sent to the Senate, but guess what also has been sent to the Senate? CR for Stimulus 2.0. That is landing there with 3.0, 4.0, and 1.0. What is the latest update? I have it in the second half of this recording. 
big money opportunities left and right, including Build Back Better that has upwards of $60,000 of checks, but now $1.5 trillion of discretionary spending, including in now including in the congressional resolution, the continuing resolution. Wow. I have the latest details on that. Then we'll be looking at the big money of third stimulus. As viewers continue to get those big sums of money, how do you get it? It's tens of thousands of dollars. Stay to the very end. Then we'll be looking at the big exciting details of what is going on with SS300 and SS400. Boy, we have a big second half. I'm excited you're here. But first, I need your help. Go under this video right now and subscribe. You're watching the number three most watched financial news channel, America Alight. Hit that subscribe button to bring us to number two. Like the video, two, three thousand likes, and consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Cal Senior VIP to get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system and the LA Light alert systems. That link to which is also under the video's description. And with that, let's continue with where we left off. CR for Stimulus 1.0. The opportunity to insert a stimulus check in the continuing resolution brought back on this channel four weeks ago. Where is that continuing resolution this morning? It's huge, incredible, great news in many regards. The continuing resolution now has a confirmed negotiation point of $1.5 trillion of discretionary funds included. What? Okay, let's go over this, folks. The continuing resolution will include, among other things, $1.5 trillion of discretionary funds. Who has the discretion over the funds? Cabinet members of Joseph Biden. Who are those cabinet members? They include Janet Yellen, your Treasury Secretary. Who does she oversee? The Department of IRS. Oh, boy. Yeah, you heard me right. Then $1.5 trillion. Oh, my goodness. That's a lot of money. If you've been with this channel since 2020... Donald and Nancy back in the days were negotiating over $900 billion. This is $1.5 trillion. This is enough to get you a stimulus check. This is huge. Discretionary, Janet Yellen, IRS, $1.5 trillion bipartisan support, and inherent deadline, early March. You can't get it any better than this. This is why you have to advocate to Patrick Leahy to Janet Yellen, to the Department of Treasury, to Joe Biden, to Chuck Schumer, to make sure the $1.5 trillion of discretionary funds stays in there, it's currently in there, and that part of that money is discretionarily applied to you as a stimulus check. They promise you, Leahy, Schumer, and all those Democrats, a stimulus check for over 11 months in Build Back Better. You've had their back. And as holding their back, they should hold your back and also give you a check. Build Back Better will happen. But you should have a check because you've been waiting so long. That's the great update about CR for Stimulus 1.0. 2.0. Four weeks ago, I delivered the recording on this channel to bring back CR for Stimulus. And within seven days, the House Democrats said, we need other pieces of economic legislation to go out. Economic legislation did go out, and one got passed within 24 hours from the House. Now sent to the Senate, and guess what the Senate just said? The Senate Republicans, yeah, you heard me right, Republicans, said we like what the House Democrats are doing. We're going to have our version. That's what I have now, now numbered CR for Stimulus 3.0. 3.0 and 2.0 will merge together and get out the door across the board. Why is this happening? The reason it's happening is because we have a different political landscape now than we had two years ago. Two years ago, we had Republicans saying that the economy's fine, you don't need anything, and the Democrats saying the economy's not fine. Now we have the Republicans saying the economy's not fine, blame the Democrats, and the Democrats also saying the economy's not fine. The way they're trying to pick up seats or maintain seats in both the House and Senate is to pass legislation to give you money. They know if they don't do it, they don't get anything. Americans are more savvy now as voters. They're not going to sit back and say, you promised something to us. No, they want you to actually pass legislation to get out the board. That's why you see CR for Simmons 2 and 3 merging and heating up in the Senate. And why CR for Simmons 1.0 with $1.5 trillion of discretionary fund also bipartisan. What is also bipartisan is CR for Stimulus 4.0. This is also in the Senate, and this involves the Russian sanctions legislation. Lindsey Graham, Graham, Republican. Marco Rubio, Republican. Bob Menendez, Democrat. 
Chuck Schumer, Democrat. This is a body of legislation to sanction Vladimir Putin, whether or not he invades Ukraine or doesn't invade Ukraine, for his actions. Again, bipartisan, small pieces of legislation, quick inherent deadline, insert a stimulus check in there, done. Very easy. Four opportunities to get a check out to you, in addition to those adult automatic stimulus checks that the Democrats say they're going to insert into the fourth stimulus recon, that Joe Biden says he wants those checks to go out right away. That's where we are so far. We're not done there yet, folks. We got more coming up right now. And it is SS300 and 400. You haven't heard it anywhere else, and you won't, except from the kid here in Santa Monica, California. Joe Biden, if you're listening, take notes, because this is what you can do right now. What is going on? I'm going to show you right now how Joseph Biden can deliver you, within 30 days from now, an additional $200 on top of your benefits if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, and Rural Benefits. By January of next year, or potentially December of this year, an extra $100, which would then be $300 additional from where we're at the time of this recording. And then a year after that, an extra $100. That would be $400. SS $400. What's going on? Let's take a step back two years ago. Two years ago, several people were running for President of the United States, and several Democrat candidates were running. One of them was Liz Warren, and Liz Warren had many campaign promises. One of them was to reform the Social Security Administration. Her idea was the following, to raise your, to um, remove the asset cap, Act of Congress, remove the income cap, Act of Congress, remove the marriage penalty, Act of Congress, and raise your benefits up $200 a month additional from where it is right now. Remove COLA and apply inflation as your new benchmark. She withdrew from her run for president. And Joe Biden said, you know what, Liz, I like your policies. I'm going to adopt them as my own. And he did. He ran on her platform for president, won the general election. Then in his campaign, transition papers at JoeBiden.com, still published there. You can go read them himself, yourself. He wrote, you need an extra $200 a month if you're on benefits because this is an urgent situation. He was sworn in as President of the United States. He did not deliver anything, did not even mention this even existed. Democrats were not happy. So then they started talking about fist stimulus, doing this by fist stimulus. One year, I recorded fist stimulus videos on this channel, and yet Joe Biden still didn't do it. Well, I didn't forget about SS200, folks. I don't forget. And one week ago, I delivered the opportunity for SS200 now in 2022. Well, this morning, for Morning's LA, you're going to now see the opportunity to see SS300, and it starts right now. The concept is very simple. Let me go over what's at issue. I'm going to show you how Joe Biden, with simply a phone call, could raise your benefits up $200 a month within 30 days of this video, then an additional $100 approximately in December of this year, and then if everything is going as planned, an additional $100 the year after that. This would be SS200, then 300, and then 400. How does he do it? Very simply. Replacing COLA with inflation. Let's go over what's going on. Your benefits are determined by a benchmark, and that benchmark is called COLA, cost of living adjustment. It does not work for decades because it doesn't move. It stays flat. 2005 to 2006, your checks look the same. They didn't move. 2007 to 2008, they may not have moved either. They look the same. The reason they're not moving is because COLA is a benchmark that doesn't work. And as it doesn't work, then your benefits don't move. Inflation does move. Inflation is always 2 to 3% every year across the board. And as 2 to 3% every year, that is why it's a benchmark that works. Well, this is what's at hand. A year ago, I said that inflation was going to be 8% in December, two months ago, 2021, and was not going to be temporary. It was going to continue to go up and not go back down. Well, where are we right now? The situation right now is that we're at 7.5% inflation. Yes, 7.5% inflation. The Department of Labor releases late inflation numbers month after it happens. And one month ago, my numbers were proven correct. 7.5% inflation, about 8%, just as I predicted. Second, I also predicted that inflation was not going to be temporary. It was not going to go down. 
Federal Reserve last year said it was going to be 1% to 2% inflation in December and it was going to be temporary. Wrong. I said wrong then. I was right. Then Wall Street also said it was going to be 2 to 3% inflation. It was going to be temporary. I also said wrong. I said it was going to be 8%. It was not going to be temporary. Well, 7.5% not temporary last month. Where are we going in, excuse me, December? Where are we going to go for January 2022? We still have a few more days to see that number, folks. But the producer price index number released just a few days ago reveals that inflation may go even higher. Not temporary, actually potentially worse in the month of January 2022. Producer price index came in at 12%. <laughs> just insane. I mean, just insane. So how does this calculate out? Very simply, replace COLA right now, use inflation. You'll go from 5.9% increase to 7.5%, potentially 8%. And if the numbers are going where they're heading, we may be at 9% uh, by the end of this month. Okay, that's right now. Then, they reassess your benefits every end of the year. Where is inflation supposed to be at the end of the year? It's usually 2 to 3% each year. 99% of Wall Street analysts do not believe it's going to be that number at December of this year. They think it's going to be 4%. This is easy math, folks. 8% plus 4%. That's about 11% raising your benefits up compared to December 2021. There you go, SS300. Now, if inflation comes in at, let's say, 2 to 3% the year after that, which it generally is, then you got an extra $80, extra $90, that's SS400. How does Joe Biden do this? Very simply. All he does is picks up the phone. Joseph Biden, in spring of last year, I made the recording, fired the commissioner saw, had a social security administrator put his guy in or gal in there. Joe Biden, all he has to do is pick up the phone and call the social security administrator up and say, hey, it's the president. I want you to stop using COLA and start using a new benchmark. That new benchmark I'm telling you to use is inflation. Start using that new benchmark right now, and that would raise everyone's benefits up a lifetime. And away we rock and roll. Then the president has other opportunities covered on afternoons at LA and evenings at LA later tonight, which are he can remove, he can repurpose existing sums of money. Existing sums of money can be repurposed by the president of the United States when the programs have ended, but the money is still there. If you can find programs established by the federal government in the last two years that are now ended, but the monies are still there, send me a private message. I'll feature it live on air. But now let's go back into the big other checks of this Build Back Better Act and the big money you can get right today. Wow. As viewers are cleaning up with another 10, 15, 20, 30, $40,000 this week. You want that money as well? I bet you do. Stay with me. I got that money coming up for you. Okay. So the Build Back Better Act has a lot of other checks in there. And here we rock and roll. They got in there the salt cap, raising the amount you can deduct from state and local taxes from $10,000 to $72,500 per year of state and local taxes. They got cheaper prescription medication in there, raising from 10 to 30 by the year 2028. They got $40 billion of free job training checks in there for millions of Americans who want to pay, get a higher paying job. They got in there the nutrition, $65 a month. They got a lot of that third sum of stuff repeating itself. Hazard pay, earned income tax credit, essential workers, one more year. CTC, this is the children's check, $3,600, one more year. Child care, home health care, uh, household tax credit. Got all those provisions in there. And then we have all those Bernie provisions in there. They got the dent, they got the, uh, the hearing aid checks in there. They got the Medicaid gap fix, providing years of subsidized private insurance to low-income uninsured people in 12 Republican holdout states. But then they have uh, other provisions that they vow to add in there, which are dental, vision, and lowering the eligibility age of Medicare from 65 to 55. Wow. Now, in addition to Bernie's provisions, then they have also the third stimulus provisions repeated back again under four stimulus. But the great news is you don't have to wait for it. This is rent, utilities, food, and internet, mortgages, and more. Get your pen paper ready. If you're a member, pull out that membership newsletter. If you're not a member, become a member right now. The link is under the video. We're going to go over this big sums of money and how viewers have gotten tens of thousands of dollars, upwards of $40,000 this week. Let's look at the rent. This is the rent that viewers got from this channel back in October. What are we looking at here, LA? We are looking at third stimulus. 
passed in spring of 2021. And these were the monies then, but people have gotten multiple rounds since then. I'm going to show you how to get another round today. Stay with me. It's coming up in a second. But first, what is this? Rent. Where do you get it? Six places. Reach out to the following six places. City Hall, City House Authority. County Hall, County House Authority. State Hall, and State House Authority. And the keywords you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID. Mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. There are six, three musts you must do. You must reach out to all six places. You must get application on file everywhere. And you must do multiple rounds. Do you see under the word mornings or at the bottom of the word mornings, it says Richard? Well, right below Richard is the name Nisi. At the time, she got $20,000 of rent. Well, Nisi has a big update. This week, she said, hey, all right, I got another $7,000 of rent, another $7,000 of rent, and another $3,000 for utilities. I told you I'd have an update. That's $10,000 more from Nisi. More about Nisi in a second. Next, you want to get SNAP. It gets, you, excuse me, you want to get utilities. You get it from all utility companies. Again, utility assistance because of COVID. Here's Mark. He got $6,500. His brother-in-law got $15,000. Then you want to get SNAP. You get it from the Department of Agriculture for food. And boy, is it delicious. Mark's brother-in-law is getting $25,000 a year over 10 years. It's a quarter million dollars. Can you tell me any financial news channel that's getting a family $25,000 a year? I don't think you can. Remember Nisi from just a second ago? She got another round of rent, another round of utilities. She got another $10,000 this week. Well, here was Nisi back in the day. She made history because she got three items with Art Sullivan. If you've seen Art, tell him to come on in. She got 23000 from three items. I told countless viewers, go get three like Nisi and Art. Here was Mark at two items at 32. I said, Mark, was your third at 32? He got it. Then he went to 50000 with three. Now he's over 100000 Lorraine, she was at 105. Now she's at 120. Now let's go back to those rounds. Let's go over what's going on. When Thirdson was passed in spring of 2021, viewers got rent at the time for several months, January, February, March. Viewers listened and got another round last summer. Many viewers got four months of rent and another round in late December last year. We call it Santa stimulus, Christmas stimulus. They got November, December, January, or October to February. They got about four months of rent. That was about $15,000 at the time, viewers averaged out. Well, starting in January 2022, I told viewers, get another round of money right out the door and get that money out the door across the board. And uh, the, 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 the big money out the door is now available and that money is heating up. And that big money is heating up with the following details. The fact is that money is available right now. And here is the success story. Karen got another $40,000. She got $22,000 for rent. She got $12,000 for SNAP. And she got $3,000 for utilities. And here we go. It keeps on heating up across the land. Karen getting $40,000. So what do you want to do with this round? You want to get the money out as far as you can. You want to get the money out to May, and that money is absolutely incredible. And you want to get now February, March, April, May. Can't get it? Bring it a little tighter. New to this channel? Get it. We're reaching out to one of the six places I featured in this video. Uh, got it before? Then get it from a uh, get it from the same organization. That same organization out of money, then lean on the nonprofits. Absolutely incredible details across the board. Here's what's at issue: is the money is available everywhere. <laughs> and when I first made these recordings in 2020, and I was on air, I always had someone say, "There's no money in my state. There's no money in my city. There's no money here. There's money everywhere, folks. There's money everywhere." And for a person who simply wants to repeat that there's no money in their town of 200 people, yeah, there may be no money in your town of 200 people. There's money in your county. There's money in your state. Every state was given money, so don't think your state was left out. There are people that sort of want to pigeonhole their state with very sort of blanketing statements. In the last two days, I've had one, uh, I've seen three viewers saying, there's no money ever for third stimulus in Missouri. Untrue. You can run that quote as, you can run that comment as often as you want in the live chat. It's um, simply untrue. There's no money ever from third stimulus in Mississippi. Now, I've gotten fortunes for every person in every state across this channel. 
that doesn't mean it's not harder. It doesn't mean it's not in all six places, but it's in every single state. So get those sums of money. Finally, what is the situation as we go into a big, bold, beautiful new week? Very exciting details across the board. First, we have this strange equation of Vladimir Putin and Ukraine. And I know exactly what, I, what comment I'm going to see in the live chat all this week. People are going to say, oh, they're more focused on Vladimir than us now. Don't do that. The Congress is not involved with running military exercises. So Congress is elected to pass legislation, not to do military exercises. And even though the president may be talking about Vladimir a lot, don't think he's not thinking about you either. One of the key issues that Democrats and Republicans came together with this last week is that when it comes to cont continuing resolution, you can't have the, us not take care of this. You can't have the government default in the United States when we're trying to deal with Vladimir Putin. So understand that you still remain a top priority. Don't let Vladimir Putin make it a distraction for you across the board. Next, we have a lot of different pieces of legislation at hand, and one doesn't replace another, and one doesn't nullify another. So we have CR for Stimulus 1.0, the continuing resolution now with an inherent early March deadline, and the $1.5 trillion of discretionary spending, which is absolutely incredible, folks. This is about as great news as you can. But you want to make sure they spend the money on you, not, you know, go build a park where a, super, where, where, where a parking lot used to be. Wasn't that like the Hootie and the Blowfish song? <laughs> you know, don't have them go spend the money the wrong way, number one. Number two, we have CR for Stimulus 2 and 3 merging in the Senate. We have CR for Stimulus 4, the Russian sanction. Then we have Joe with the complete opportunity to get out SS200 right out the door, 300 then later this year. Moreover, do not bring a false narrative anywhere about any of these things. Don't say something that looks good is bad. I don't record things that look good but have a back end that's bad. Never have, never will. If something has a back end that's bad, I'll tell you. Main Street Lending Program, <laughs> I'm laughing. Main Street Lending Program of 2020. It was a top, it was, a, a, I think, three videos on this channel. I said it's a strange program, doesn't make a lot of sense. I don't think it's going to be popular. I don't like the terms of the conditions. But I made the recording. I told you I didn't like it. Guess what? I wasn't alone. It, it closed down. No one got it because no one wanted it. Didn't look good, wasn't good. If something's not good, I'm going to tell you it's not good. So when you hear SS200, SS300, do not think it's bad. Do not jump in the comments and say, I think it, it's bad because it's going to be a back-end trick. There is no back-end trick. The only trick is the uh, the reversible lobster, lobster shorts. That is a back-end trick. <laughs> <laughs> Meantime, people have been asking for something else, not just stimulus. They've been also asking for another MSC, multiple sugar-free chocolate cakes. <laughs> and guess what? On Home LA Light and Home Street and Stimulus today, you're going to see an, an encore new version of that video. What have I done? I've gone back into the chocolate cake video and made it again. Brand new video. But what I've done now is I've modified the video to show you, one, how to do it as a souffle, how to do it as a loaf, how to do it as cookies, and also how to do it still as the chocolate cake. Moreover, before, I didn't cover the baking uh, pans that you need to use and why the baking pan is very important to the process. Moreover, I'm going over more about the ingredients. I'm going slower because people have asked for the recipe. It's a brand new updated version. It's like bringing the band back together. <laughs> it's, like, it's like the chocolate cake is going back on tour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all coming back. Everything comes back into fashion except lobster shorts. <laughs> coming up next is that video with the deliciousness of chocolate cake. And with that, I want you part of this incredible family and subscribe. Bring this channel from number three most watched financial channel America to number two. Like the video and consider becoming a member. Meantime, if you're watching this video at seven o'clock, coming up next is uh, the incredible evenings. Ally Light with more shows across the board. Stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful day, and stay with Ally for more.